Buttermilk pancakes have become a staple in the American cuisine. No matter if you prefer them with maple syrup and butter, or if you prefer them just as they are. Today, I'm going to show you my take on the buttermilk pancake. Stay with me. Hi everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the T-Rex Chef, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, breakfast for dinner, or breakfast for lunch, or breakfast for breakfast, depending on when you're going to make this dish. My friend Chaz reached out to me and said, hey, what's your take on pancakes, in particular fluffy pancakes? What do I mean by fluffy pancakes? Well, those are the pancakes that are a little bit thicker and a little bit fluffier. That comes into the eggs, the ingredients as the eggs. And what you're going to do is separate the yolks and the whites. The yolks will go into the wet mixture and the egg whites will be beaten and whipped up and then they will be folded into the wet mixture giving it a fluffy exterior. Exterior? Giving it a fluffy, fluffy, fluffy texture. So first up we have all-purpose flour in a sifter. I highly recommend sifting your flour. If you don't, you don't have to. But to this, we're gonna add our dry ingredients. And that is going to be two teaspoons of baking powder. And whoever did this little thing on there, genius, genius, genius. So that's going in. One teaspoon baking soda. One teaspoon sugar. Half a teaspoon salt. I'm gonna set this up. Riveting, I know. It really does make a difference though when you sift this. There's no clumps and it's just easier for you to do, to mix it up. That took a long time. All right, get through there. All right. Now, see how I can do with my eggs here, separating them. I just use my hands. Oh, and I messed that up. Messed that up. I got a little bit of yolk in there. I think I'll be okay though. Right, that one went through good. Right. Buttermilk. Always remember to give it a little mix. Two cups. Buttermilk. Actually, we'll start with a cup. Maybe a cup and a half. And then you can go from there, making sure it's not too, too wet. All right. About a half a cap full of imitation vanilla. Or pure vanilla, if you've got it. If you've got that kind of budget, just a little bit. You know, not even a half. Just so you know it's there. Give it that nice little background flavor. Whisk this up. Don't want to over mix your batter. I know that from experience, having been a breakfast cook for a couple of years, you can always add a little bit more of the liquid if it's a little too tight and it's look like it gets a little too tight right here. I'm just getting it everywhere. So add about another, about another quarter cup to that of the buttermilk. And I'm just gonna be making a mess, so I'll do a little cleanup. I'm just 
I'm making a mess. Okay. I'm gonna call that good for now. Now, I've done some cleanup, obviously, and we're just gonna fluff these up. It's gonna take a couple minutes. gently with this. The point of whipping those up is to keep them aerated so you don't want to go too too heavy on your mix on here. You want to be gentle with it. Fold these in. Take your time. Almost forgot a key ingredient. Melted butter. Uh, about a tablespoon. Butter flavor throughout, and it acts as kind of a self lubricating for the pan, if you will. All right, let this sit for a bit, and then we're gonna get it into the pan. All right, we have this over like a medium, medium low heat. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of vegetable oil to this and a little bit of butter. Because butter is great, we all know that. Third of a cup. You can make them as big, as small as you want. Um, this is easy for portion control. Little trick. Spray the inside of that. Comes out nice and nice and easy. All right. So I think this is right where we want it. Not looking so good right now. <laughs> All right, I just had to give it a little bit of time. Got to be patient with it. First pancakes don't ever turn out right anyway. Am I right on that? In the meantime, I'm heating up some maple syrup. Do yourself a favor and invest in some good syrup. Treat yourself, okay? So I'm bringing this up to a boil and my little trick that I like to do I like to add the butter right to the syrup. All right, so we're looking a little bit better on this. I haven't made these this way before, so this is new for me too. I'll give it a minute, we'll see if it works. All right, Let's see how we did. Okay, that looks really good. Now, remember, there's a lot of raw batter in the middle right now, so what you can do is turn this down a little bit, let it cook for an extra minute or two, keep checking on the other side, make sure it's not burning, but I don't know, that looks pretty darn good to me right now. So now it's just time to let this finish up and I'll make a couple more and then we'll finish up the dish. They don't have to be perfect. I have made more beautiful pancakes in the past, but these, you just call these the bottom stack. One more to go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Still not good.
Not the prettiest pancakes I've ever made, but I guarantee they're gonna be darn tasty. So, uh, remember what I said about heating up your syrup. I'm a big fan of that. It also keeps your pancakes or your waffles nice and warm. Throw a little butter into the syrup and mixes throughout, still to make it a nice sexy shot. Add a couple of pats of butter. Come over with this syrup that's dangerously warm, so you'll have to be very careful. Man, look at that. Look at that. Okay, the only thing left to do is to try these, and I am very, very excited about that. Wow, flavor overload, definitely butter in there from the butter that you put inside the batter. Uh, the butter that you taste that's in the syrup, these are fluffy, these are light. Holy cow, these are darn good. Barry, my friend, I'm sorry, you're missing out right now. Barry does all the hard work, hands down. He does all the hard work. Thank you for joining me today. This is my take on buttermilk fluffy pancakes. If you like what you've seen, please give us a like. If you really like, subscribe to us. We're also available on Instagram. We're also available on YouTube. Also, don't forget to check out your kitchen table that's associated with this page. My name is Andy. I'm the T-Rex chef. This is my take on buttermilk pancakes. I hope you all have a great day. Take care and see you soon. Good idea, Chaz. Great idea. Hi, Hayden.